All right, guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use technical indicators on your Webull phone app. So to start off, you're going to want to double click anywhere on your chart, and that's going to open up the full screen version. And the first thing we're going to look at, let's click on the range one hour button at the bottom middle. Here you can change whatever time frame chart you want to look at. So let's just do two hours. And the next button we're going to look at right to the right of that is the indicator button. Here you can put on whatever indicators you want to put on. We got the moving average, exponential moving average, Bollinger Band, Ichimoku Clouds, and VWAP. And then all the subchart ones down here, RSI, volume, uh, MACD, and whatnot. So let's look at that. So you click on moving average up here. You'll see your moving average lines. And at the top of your screen, it'll show you what colors represent each moving average. And so yeah, let's look at all the uh, indicators. Put on your Bollinger Bands. Zoom in and out. Okay, for the subchart ones at the bottom, you can actually enable and disable whichever ones you want on here. So let's enable them all. And all the subchart ones down here, they'll show up below your chart. So all these are your indicators, MACD, volume, all that stuff down there. Uh, let's take off some of these. Yeah, you can enable all of them at the same time if you want to, but it starts getting a little cluttered. Okay, so you guys see the uh, hexagon button over here to the right? Uh, click on that, and it shows uh, all your indicators in here. If you click on the hexagon button next to whichever indicator you want, so let's do moving average, you can actually change a lot of settings in here. You can add... Um, more lines you can change the time frame of moving average you can change the color um, of each moving average and um, here let's change this one to red and change the green one to yellow and then at the bottom there you can reset it back to default if you want so let's come back out here and if we click on the indicator button at the bottom click on moving average boom the red and yellow lines are there so that's how you change the colors of that. And yeah, you can change like a lot of settings for all of these um, indicators, the volume. You can um, change the days, color, everything. And now right next to the indicator button, that little pencil with the uh, scribbly line, click on that. And uh, here you got your lines. You can like do support and resistance, like horizontal lines. So let's click on that. And just click anywhere you're on your screen to put the line on. And you can like drag it up and down. Um, this little menu at the top so starting from the left if you click on those six little dots um, that'll actually allow you to move the uh, menu wherever you want on here the next one that yellow circle you click on that and you can change the color of your support and resistance lines uh, change it to whatever you want and then the next line uh, you can change the thickness of your line and the style so you can like make it dotted if you want that this little arrow like undoes your line and the next one you can put it back. You can delete the line with the trash can button. Yeah, let's get another one on there real quick. Uh, horizontal line. And then this last uh, button on here just hides the menu. And you can get that menu back by just clicking on the line. And then uh, that's the horizontal line. Here, let's delete that real quick. And uh, you can also draw trend lines on here. So instead of the horizontal one, you can do trend line. And you click once on the chart, it makes a dot, and you click again somewhere else, it makes the other dot. After you place it, you can adjust it by clicking on one of the ends and then uh, moving it to however you want it. And at the top, those are the same menu buttons as the other line. So let's delete that one. There's all types of lines and stuff in here. Uh, Fibonacci retracement, click, click, boom, and you can drag. Uh, of course, you can change the color up here to whatever you want. And to adjust that, you just click on any of the lines, and then you get this menu up here, delete that. And yeah, that's pretty much all the technical indicators. Right now, I'm working on a whole tutorial series for Weeble. So if you want to become a millionaire, then subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my newest videos. And if you don't have a brokerage account yet, I'll leave my Weeble referral link in the description box. If you use that link, you can uh, get two free stocks when you sign up. That can range anywhere up to $2,000. So get on that, and I'm going to get on to making this new video, and I'll see you in the next one.